What? Leon's what? mother has been watching my videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole thing. That is honestly the best thing I've heard all day. So some people might hate me, but Leon's mother likes me, so... We only have about like 10 minutes. That's okay. We're just happy to have him at all because we know yeah. he's super popular and <laughs> it's a... I had to do so much finessing to get this interview. Hi everyone, it's Lady Genevieve. I am here with Liamo because I, I did everything that I had to do to get him here and now he's here. So let's just not waste any time. Tell us about your song because of course you are very involved in all of your own music and your artistry. Yep. So tell us about it. It's uh, really personal. I've been writing the, some of the lyrics so it's close to my heart. Um, it's... Should I say, kind of epic mm. and alive? Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yes. Um, <clears throat> it's not much of up tempo, not too slow. Mm. Somewhere in between, something like that. And then is Sasha Jean Baptiste doing your staging? Yep. So was that your decision, or was that where did that come from? Is that the label that? It was my decision. Okay. It's a pleasure to have her in the team because she's really good. Mm -hmm. Did you have any say in contributing to the vision of what you wanted your staging to look like? You don't have to say anything specific, but just in a general sense. Or did she design it all on her own? She, she made a mood board. Okay. And uh, I watched it and I told her that was like kind of what I imagined. Okay. So we are on the same track. So can we ask you a bit about your just general musical artistry? Because it seems like you started off a lot more urban and now you sort <coughs> yeah. of evolved and blossomed in a way that I think is more palatable to the masses. I don't think that's why you did it, but um, is there any particular reason for that evolution in your sound? I just want to try like so many genres as possible. Like I rap, I sing, and uh, when I was little I had long hair. Yeah. <clears throat> And I used to listen to like rock music and dubstep and all that stuff. So I'm very, let's say, wide when it comes to the music. So I can like do a lot of stuff, a lot of genres. I just had to find myself. But I got like two sides, the kinder version of myself, mm -hmm. the music, music wise. And I have the dark version of myself. Mm. And the dark version of myself is not really for the radio and <laughs> maybe not for the kids either. Right. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to, like, uh, collect so many fans as possible Yeah. with the songs I put out. So I know this is, like, the worst, most stereotypical question to ask you, but since you are the big favorite in this heat and sort of in the contest in general, was that something you were expecting coming into it? And how do you sort of feel about that? Because you sort of exploded a little. It took a little bit after you were announced, but then all of a sudden everyone's going, yeah, he's going to win. That was actually kind of a surprise, but I really appreciate it because at first, Mariette was the favorite. Right. And me and uh, Benjamin and Grosso shared the second spot. And then I spoke to my dad and I was like, yeah, I'm on the second spot, second place. And he was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He was like, no, I believe you are number one. So I checked it out. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, people. But uh, you haven't heard the song yet. And mm -hmm. I hope you like it after you heard it. Right. As much as you think you do. Mm hmm But I, I see it as a compliment, like people believe in me. Right. And I really appreciate it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. When we talk about some of your past releases, are you aware of the fact that your videos are geo-blocked so people in North America can't watch? Like, I had no idea that Burn had a video until I came to Sweden. I went, oh, right, I needed to put my VPN on and check him again. And I, I forgot to do that. It's my bad. Um, Lazy researching. When my mom showed me your video, Which it was a... No, it was a video you had 
something on your hair. Uh huh. Okay. I'm embarrassed. Probably had a bad hair day. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> just keep talking. I'm just gonna like die of embarrassment a little bit. <laughs> keep talking, please. Yeah. So I watched it and I came to the part where you said that uh, some countries cannot listen to my music mm -hmm. or see the videos, and I didn't know about that. Yeah. It's true. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> well, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the best to uh, make everyone see the videos and hear the music because that's my plan like i don't want to be in one country i want to show you guys what i make and what i create were you aware of the fact that melody festival has a big international audience yeah you did know okay so somebody knew yeah maybe maybe not that much on the swedish mill fest mm. but eurovision of course mm -hmm. but as soon as uh, it came out that i was going to be yeah in, in this season, I, like, constant gained fans from other countries. Right. Received DMs from, I don't know, France and other countries. Yeah. Like, Russia and, yeah. Because I've had people writing in going, so how, how do you feel about the fact that Liamo's going to win? And I'm going, I, I hope he does well, because then, you know, <coughs> Asian excellence and... Uh, <laughs> About time that a, a, an Asian person gets that trophy. I'm not being petty at all. We're, we're, totally, we're totally not being petty here. It's fine. It's, it's all good. You need to tell your mother that I said hello, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm very tickled and flattered that she's... And she would probably watch this video. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I love that. But what are your long-term plans? Because, of course, regardless of we don't know what's going to happen with uh, the results of the contest, yeah. but do you have <clears throat> follow-up material ready to go that will not be geo-blocked because you're going you're gonna to demand that it's um, available for everyone? We have been uh, uh, planning a lot of stuff. Like, when I was on Idol... There was not really much planning right. after, after, but I did go on tour for mm -hmm. like the whole year, 2017. So I didn't have that much time to be in the studio and create more music. But now, while we're waiting for the big day, <clears throat> we are creating music in the studio and just creating so much materials as possible so we can release it after after melody festival so yeah there's a lot of planning on what's gonna happen after is your melody festival and song going to have a music video probably probably okay well you i'm gonna hold you to that because you know that your performance is also going to be geoplocked because the melody festival and channel oh is not available <clears throat> so your performance however great it may be uh Unless everybody gets a VPN, but not everybody is that tech savvy. So yeah, Liamo music video ungeoblocked. This is a huge problem. <laughs> the fans get so mad about this because they want to watch the content and it all gets blocked. <laughs> I didn't actually know about that, but yeah, once I received a comment from a dude, he was like, "Hi, I'm a huge fan from France, and I cannot listen to your music." Mm-hmm. So I ask people about it and I don't know I don't know I'm gonna make it possible mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna make it possible because you should <clears throat> you, you have a very global potential with your you. with your sound and your style so a lot of a lot of excited people about you and you, again like you said people haven't even heard the song but they're already excited yeah <laughs> <laughs> So is it true that, because Lucelle helps me with all the research, is, are you really into food? What is this that we're hearing that you actually, what did he say? Did he talk about this in an interview? Where he said always, he's with, always talking about food. Like, are you always talking about food? Me. What's your thing about no, food? Like just, like just mentioning it. And then like I heard people like telling that he, he's in getting food. And like he's tired. <laughs> he's like, he's <laughs> <laughs> are you a foodie, Liam? Uh, I know where you, I, I, I know where this <laughs> comes from. Um, yeah, I actually just had some food, but before I had my food, I was like, <laughs> kind of tired because we are doing a lot of things right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff on the schedule, so there's a lot of going from point A to point B, mm -hmm. and uh, interviews and rehearsals and stuff like that. And it takes a lot of energy. It, maybe you don't think it takes a lot of energy, but it does. Mm. So I need some food to keep the energy up. <laughs> like everybody else. 
And then one more thing. Are you really into your style? Because I think you said something about wanting to start a clothing line and you're always wearing your rings and Oh yeah. And you've always got all your accessories. I don't really look that good right now. It's just Yes, you room. do. You look oh, very cool, you. very hip. <clears throat> but I like I like like uh taking time on getting dressed and thinking about what I'm gonna wear and mixing different stuff, colors and stuff like that. Mm. So I could most def create one later awesome then one final thing can you just to that camera over there can you just give a message to all the international fans that are very <coughs> very excited about you um hello fans <laughs> <laughs> i'm liamo um i really appreciate your love and especially your patience i appreciate it and uh, it's gonna come out a lot of music soon for you so I hope you have some more patience because it's coming and I'm planning to do it and I'm working on it and I love you guys. Thank you very much for your time, Liamo. We Thank know you're you. very, very busy, but we're thrilled to have had you on. Yeah.